Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding salaries difference both using Python as well as MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions in both of these. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Dropbox interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, write a query that calculates the difference between the highest salaries found in the marketing and engineering departments, output just the absolute difference in salaries. So basically we are given two data frames, DB employee and DB department, and our expected output is a pandas data frame. If you look at the expected output, it is the salary difference and the absolute difference, right? So it should not be negative. Now let's preview the employee uh, database, right? So you have ID, first name, last name, salary and department ID. And you have a second data frame called department, which will be having basically the ID of the department and the name of the department. So obviously since the entire information is in two different uh, data frames, right? So the first thing we should do is we can merge the information, right? So what we can do is let's create a data frame called DF and use pandas dot merge right and right okay so we are merging the db underscore employee data frame with db underscore department now if you look at it the columns that we are using for merging this is department id from db employee data frame and id column from the db department so since the names are different so we need to write left on is equal to department id and then write on id and how do we want to merge this left right so we write left okay now let's run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it we have the all the columns from the db employee and as well as the id and the departments from the db department data frame so once we have this, then we are only concerned about the departments, marketing and engineering, right? So we can use the is in method and use Boolean indexing to make sure that all the rows that we have is either from marketing or from engineering departments, right? So what we can do is we can write DF and then pass a filter of true false values using the is in method. So department column, right? dot is in the list of so it should be either marketing right or it should be engineering right uh, let's see what we get right so if you look at it now all the rows are either from marketing or from engineering right now what do we need to do is for both of this department, we need to find the maximum salaries, right? Because we need the difference of the highest salary. So how can we do this? We can group by the department and find the maximum of the salary column. So we can write dot group by and then by which column department, right? And then find the maximum of the salary column. Right. And since we grouped by the department, so it will be the index right now. So we need to write a reset index to get that as a column. Let's run this. So we have both the departments and these are their maximum salaries. Okay. So once we have this, then what we can do is we can go two routes from here. What you can do is you can store this in another data frame, let's say DF2 and then write that DF, then use de Boolean indexing basically twice and say that DF2 where DF2 department is equal to engineering minus DF2 DF2 in department is equal to marketing, right? You get the salary values and then subtract it and put the absolute value or what we can do is we can use the diff method on the salary column. So now this entire thing basically returns you a data frame with two columns, department and the salary, right? Which is the basically the maximum salary. If you want, you can, you know, uh, for better sake of understandability, you can rename it, but I'm not doing that because ultimately we don't need that, right? So uh, what we can do is we can take the salary column of this data frame and then calculate the difference. 
So what I'm saying is let's take the salary column and then use the dot diff method. Let's see what will this return. So here, if you look at it, it has a line here. So it is not returning just this. It is also returning a null value. There is nothing here. And then 2400. So we only need the absolute value, not the null values, right? So basically, what is this doing and why do we have a null here, right? Let me, you know, cut this out and let's go back to what we have here, right? So it is basically doing is it is taking this value and trying to, you know, subtract this from a previous value, but there is nothing previous to this, right? So that is why it is returning null. And then the cursor is going to this part and then it is calculating a difference between this. So we don't need the null part. We only need the absolute difference, right? So what we can do is we can, you know, once we run this, so basically this is index location zero and this is index location one. So we only need the value of index location one. Right. So what we can do is we can write I lock one. Right. Let's see what we get. Now we have the value 2400 here. Right. But we still it's not the absolute part because here if I again go back. Right. If I again go back and run this since this value is greater than this. So that is why that was positive. But it is possible that, you know, some in some of the test cases, this comes out to be maximum and this is lower than it. Right. So that is going to return you a negative. Right. So in that case, what do we need to do is we need to wrap this around the absolute function. So we write absolute and this entire goes thing goes into parentheses. And if I now run this, so now you have the absolute value. So if I go ahead and submit it, let's see what happens. So yeah, this is correct, right? So our solution is exactly same as what we have, right? So yeah, this is how we do this in Python, right? Now let's see how this solution looks like in MySQL. Again, same question. You have two databases, DB employee, DB department. Uh, if you preview this, you are going to get exactly the same stuff, right? So again, the first thing that we should do is from this table called DB employee, let's alias this as E let's left to join the other table DB department alias as D on E dot department ID is equal to D dot ID right and now we only need to keep the rows where your department belongs to basically marketing or engineering right so department column is in db department so we write d dot department is in either engineering or it is marketing right now once we have this let me you know run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it again, we have all the rows where we have marketing and engineering. Now we need to find out the maximum of marketing as well as the engineering department, right? The maximum salary. So what we can do is we can write group by the department, right? So D dot department, we can return the department and also the maximum value of the salary column and let's alias this as max salary right max salary of the department let's run this what let's see what we have so again we have the different departments and the maximum salary of all both these departments now what do we need to do is we can store this in a common table expression so we can write with cte as right now this has the information about both the departments and their maximum salary. And then we can write from this common table expression. Again, from here, you can go two routes. Either you can write two select statements and subtract the values that you can write select uh, from CT, return your maximum salary where department is equal to marketing and then subtract it from this city where department is equal to engineering, select maximum salary. And once you cal calculate the difference, you can wrap it out around the absolute function. You can do that. I What I am thinking is let's do this using a window function. So what we can do is from this common table expression, we can, you know, try to get this value in an another column here, right? So that we can cal directly calculate a difference, right? So 
if you want to go the first route you can like you can comment the solution how it will look like in the comment section below but let's see if we, i want to do this using a window function how it, it will look like right so return the max salary right and then let's also use the lead function so get the next value right so lead of the column max salary right and since this is a window function we write over clause uh, we don't need to you know order by or something like that there is no partitioning and all that in, in required here because all we have are going to have in the city are two rows and with sal maximum salaries of marketing and engineering departments right let's alias this as like whatever max sal two or something like that right it does not matter so once we have this so what will this have it will create another column called max sal two and it will have here four five seven eight seven and here it will be having null right so now we can use this thing as a table right as a derived table from common table expression so since this is a derived table we can you know provide an alias let's say w uh, and then what we can do is from this derived table aliased as w let's keep only those rows where the w dot max sal 2 is not null right uh, because we don't need the, this one because we need to calculate the difference right and so once you have this only row then what you can do is simply write return max salary minus the max sal 2 but since we need the absolute value so we wrap this around abs right and the output should have a alias called salary difference right so we write as salary difference okay let's see if i run what happens so we have the output exactly as what is expected let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was you know join the information make sure that the departments that we are keeping is either engineering or marketing calculate the maximum salary of them and then based on that you just do a difference you can adopt any route it does not matter uh, i used a window function because to me it seemed more generalized and easier you can do anything so yeah, let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.